Fit Lab PGH is a podcast about movement in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. We firmly believe and practice what we preach, that movement is a lifestyle, not just an activity. We're filming this in December, about three days ago, health clubs were closed down again for trying to control the pandemic. We're not gonna argue whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, but we firmly believe that movement should be a part of the lifestyle, not just for stress relief and health, but gosh darn, it's just fun too. So if you've lost your community or you don't know what to do because the group class has been taken away from you again, we want to talk a little bit about ways you can add more movement into your life. A couple of things that you can see here that we do is we have Labradors. I'm not telling you to go out and get a Labrador or another dog, but if you have a dog, hopefully you take walks with them every day or most days. One of the things I've found is even if I can't get a hard workout in, for those of you who do heart rate training, if I can't get a zone four workout in, a zone one or a zone two walk jog with the Labradors really helps clear my mind. A lot of times if you're out in the woods, you can see a difference in the scenery depending on the time of year. And again, it's fun or enjoyable. You may not enjoy that, but there's all kinds of other activities you can do. And a lot of times people say, well, I don't know what to do. We've got videos going back almost three years or contact a friend, ask them what you can do. Maybe you have a friend who's a responsibility partner or somebody who holds you accountable. I've got a good friend out in Colorado and when the pandemic first hit this year, some of his races were canceled and he did a virtual ride the length of the West Coast of Florida. He challenged me to do it too and I did the half one because I had Lisa, the co-partner of FitLab Pittsburgh, do it also. And what it did is because of the pandemic, now she's a bike geek with two bicycles. If you listen to some of our podcasts, the perfect number of bikes is N plus one. So she started out with one and now she's got two so she can ride year round. Another thing you can do, you've got these great connections and contacts from health clubs or fitness centers where you go for the group class or you go to work out. Contact those people because they've lost their livelihood. They might be willing to do some personal training for you virtually or design a program for you. So it's a possibility that you can continue to work out on your own or do activities of your own until the time when the health clubs or the fitness centers reopen. When they reopen, you should think about what can I do at those fitness centers? We like three or four times a week at fitness centers if that's what you do. But think of that as only part of your movement practice. Think about what you can do, even if it's just a 10 minute walk. So a lot of us are working from home. If you're working from home, you can get more movement by doing a standing desk. You can get more movement by, if you have conference calls that aren't Zoom, you can put yourself on a headset, maybe walk around the house. Or I know a number of people who schedule their business calls so they take them when they're doing a walk. Make sure when you're wearing the headset, you're aware of your surroundings. The key thing that you wanna take away from this is the pandemic sucks for everybody. But the important thing is, what can you do to make it a positive out of what's may maybe been a negative experience? The positives can be introducing more movement into your lifestyle. It helps with the control of a healthy body weight. It helps with your mental outlook. And as we had in a video that's coming out, I think tomorrow, think about what you can do, not what you can't do. So try to put a positive spin on things, or if you're going to put a negative spin on things, give yourself just a few minutes to do it and then try to turn it around. One of the things that I did not expect to happen when I started filming this is I did not expect the Labradors to sit here quietly. I expected I would be jerking their leashes. So I kind of had a negative feeling about it. But what you can see is dogs that get plenty of exercise when you sit for a while, they're more easy to get along with. They're calmer, they're well-behaved. Think about that with your lifestyle. If you can get more activity into your life, more movement into your life, it may make a better quality of life, make you better able to concentrate and give your kids, if you have it, or other family members, a positive role model. So remember the ethos of FitLab Pittsburgh, movement is a lifestyle, not just an activity.